live from Orlando, Florida, it's theCUBE. Covering ServiceNow, Knowledge17. Brought to you by ServiceNow. We're back at Knowledge17, Dave Vellante with Jeff Frick. Josh Gluck is here, he's the deputy CIO of Weill Cornell Medical College in the Big Apple. Thanks for coming on theCUBE. Thanks very much for having me. Tell us about Wild Cornell. It's a collaboration with Sloan Kettering originally and... Yeah, uh, we're a three-part mission-oriented institution. Uh, patient care being first. Uh, our physician organization delivers patient care in New York City. Uh, we're partnered with New York Presbyterian Hospital, uh, Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center, and also the Hospital for Special Surgery. So let's get right into it. Um, CIO, you were probably doing some of the CIO activities here mm -hmm. this week. Love to hear about that. but. Let's get right into how you're you know, using automation, how you're using the ServiceNow platform. Let's sure. talk in the context of IT transformation. Yeah, um, so we've been a ServiceNow customer since uh, 2012. We actually went live on 12, 12, 12. Everybody <laughs> thought that was a joke, but it turned out to be the real go live date. Um, you know, and, it, and as the platforms matured and as our organizations matured, um, you know, we started focused on ITSM strictly. Um, over the last few years though, we've, we've found that um, you know, our focus for ServiceNow should be the equivalent of building a 311 platform for the administrative departments. So we've onboarded uh, folks in HR. Uh, we're doing case management now with ServiceNow. Um, obviously all the ITSM, um, ITIL-based processes. We've worked with our uh, Department of Environment, Environmental Health and Safety um, to help them with some of the regulatory compliance uh, workflows that they need to have in place. Um, we've also built out project and portfolio management in ServiceNow, um, and we've been doing it actually since the beginning, um, we worked with ServiceNow um, pretty intimately um, to build out those functions. And now we're actually at the point where the platform has surpassed what we custom developed back in the early days. And we're really focused on, on understanding where we can unwrap some of those customizations and just go to the native uh, portfolio. Yeah, I, I want to ask you about that. So yeah. uh, that's not an uncommon story. Mm -hmm. and, and how complicated is, to, is it to unwrap that stuff? Because you obviously you don't want the custom mods there if you don't yeah. have to have well, them. Well, you know, we've spent, what, five, six years now focused on um, developing the platform to meet our needs, meet our process. Um, you know, we're academics at heart, right, being part of Cornell University, so I think we have a, um, a habit of sometimes overthinking solutions. <laughs> so our, uh, our customizations are pretty, pretty complex. Um, we also, though, understand that it's a heavy lift for us to keep it up. And so we partner with ServiceNow, we've had them come in um, and help us do an evaluation of what really could be done with a slight change to our process or even just direct support for our process straight out of the box. Um, we're really excited about the stuff that's coming out in Jakarta. Okay, so it's fair to say, I mean, we've all been there. We have software development projects, you go, oh, geez, I wish I had done it differently. But when we talk to folks like you that are unwrapping, unraveling custom mods, mm -hmm. there's no regrets. You got a lot of value out of yeah, it, no. and now you're moving forward, yep. right? No, we definitely did the right That's thing at the right time. Um, you know, we've, we went through an evolution in the way that we did project and portfolio management internally at, at Wild Cornell. And um, you know, we're focused on some of the high level problems, high order problems today that some organizations may not get to, right? We're doing resource management, proactive scheduling, um, and, and you know, for us to get to the next level, the enhancements that are available in Jakarta around, uh, around time carding and, and resource management are really going to help us, um, I think, not overthink the problem and, and come to some standard that the rest of the industry or other verticals are using and how they do their resource management. And, and Josh, the 311 concept is interesting. Mm -hmm. when, when did you go from, this is our, an ITSM tool that's going to be pretty cool, to yeah. this is a platform that we can now take this kind of 311 approach and use that as kind of an overarching mission yeah. for that which we're trying to accomplish? Um, I, I think the concept, I think when we first went into a partnership with ServiceNow, we knew that we wanted it to be more than just a replacement for heat, right? Um, I've actually been with two different organizations, New York Presbyterian Hospital and Wild Cornell, um, who have come from other ITIL platforms, IDSM platforms, and moved to ServiceNow. I was a BMC Remedy customer for a long time at New York Presbyterian. Uh, we were a heat customer at Wild Cornell prior to going to ServiceNow. So I think we were all familiar with the fact that it doesn't make sense to buy these point products to do all these different workflows. Let's buy a platform. ServiceNow represented that platform, even in its early stages. We knew that we wanted to do more with it. We had conversations about process users, and I know you guys were talking a little bit before about changes to the license model that are happening, yep. um, but we, we really wanted it to be something we could develop further. Our first project just happened to be, in both cases, we have an ITSM platform that isn't working, 
Remedy at MYP, Heat at Wild Cornell. Let's get off of it and get onto ServiceNow. Um, but I think we didn't start calling it the 311 uh, <laughs> until um, maybe a year or two ago. Okay. And it really started with case management. I think that was a, a big deal. It's a good little marketing, you know, the CIO selling, from, yeah. uh, Daniel Pink. Yeah. Uh, how <laughs> large of an organization? Uh, is wild, IT or Wild, wild Cornell wild itself? Cornell. Uh, we're between, we're about 5,000 and change. Okay, um, so not enormous. But I was, the reason for the question is, at what point does it make sense to, to bring in a service now? You know, our little 50-person company, you know, we've been trying, but it's just yeah. still not there yet. But is it size of company? Is it size of problem? What is your advice there? Um, you know, I think, I think it's actually a good idea for, for most um, you know, mid-level companies to talk to service now. And, and I think there's even a play for some small business. It depends on what you want to get out of the tool. Right? I mean, if you're going to use it as just a simple incident response system, which isn't really the value that ServiceNow provides, um, it, you know, it might be a hard sell. But because it's a hosted system, because there is such a wealth of, um, of partners in the, in the community now, um, and such a following for ServiceNow, I, I don't know, if you were a 10-person organization and you were customer focused and you wanted to use it to do right. yeah, that you know, make sense. a couple of different business processes, it could actually make sense for you. Josh, really tight schedule today. We'll give you the last word on Knowledge17, some of the things that have excited you. What's the bumper sticker on K17 for you? Uh, I think the keynotes have been great. I think mm. you guys at the Cube have been doing a great job Thank of you very also much. Uh, you know, getting people up here and, and asking them tough questions and stuff. <laughs> I appreciate you going easy on me. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, but it, it's been great. It's been a really good show. Yeah, all right, we'll come back again and we'll really go at it. So. Sounds good. <laughs> Thanks very much, Josh. Thank you. Appreciate your time. Yep. All right, keep it right there, everybody. We'll be back with our next guest right after this short break.